With so much to see and do in Fort Myers, plans can sometimes seem to overwhelm the senses. So here's our definitive guide to the local wildlife. My three favorite ocean animals would be the Atlantic bottlenose dolphin, the loggerhead sea turtles, that's mostly what we get nesting on our beaches here, and then the West Indian manatees. Right when that was happening, there was a couple more manatee right here alongside the boat. They're being a little uh, lethargic and kind of lazy right now. Where we're at here along the backside of North Captiva, um, we're in, I'd say about eight to 10 feet of water here. So fairly deep considering the area uh, out here to the left, it's only you know a foot or two depending on the tide. So what the manatee do, they'll come back in an area like this to rest, kind of down at the bottom. In the summertime when the water's really warm, they'll go down to the muddy bottom and wallow to, uh, to stay cool. Wintertime when the water temp temperature drops down to the high 50s in Fahrenheit, they will uh, actually stay down there to, to stay warm. Uh, there's a manatee about to come up right here to the right. <laughs> little small eyes, very... As well as manatees, dolphins are at the top of most people's list when it comes to the ocean megafauna they'd like to spot. And Fort Myers will not disappoint. Southwest Florida is home to one of the highest concentration of bottlenose dolphins. And thanks to the fact that many pods have Pine Island Sound as part of their home range, you have a great chance of seeing them out on the water. Keep Lady Luck on your side and look out for the Lady Chadwick, an inter-island ferry that the dolphins love to play in the wake of. But don't get too caught up in the big animals. There are some equally interesting characters hanging out on the sea floor. What do you got, a live lightning whelk? It's a live lightning whelk here. This is how you find them when they're walking, when they're alive. Gastropodum meaning stomach foot walking such as this. There are other gastropods such as horse conchs that would eat this type of gastropod. Sort of like a tug of war ensues where the larger typically snail will pull a smaller snail out. Then you're left with an empty shell. That's when a hermit crab comes into place. But yeah, so all of these animals, these are called mollusks and mollusks make their shells. They'll never leave the shell. Think of it as bones in your body. We're born with our bones and our bones continue to grow with us. Same for them. So they're born with these shells and they're not gonna leave them. Um, this one is called a Gaudi Nautica. This is a banded tulip, two of my favorite local shells. There are lots of reptiles that make their home in Fort Myers too. From gopher tortoises to anole lizards. The most notable and charismatic of which, however, are sea turtles. So the holes, these are ghost crab holes. They're a white, yellowish crab. They'll dig down in the sand. Of course, they'll make many different holes. They come out at night. But there's a bunch of them right here because this is a sea turtle nest and they do eat baby sea turtles. And the uh, females, the, they'll, they'll crawl ashore at night and that's how we know where the nests are is we see the tracks of, of the turtles. And then we determine if it's a nest by digging down and locating the egg chamber. Uh, we do screen those egg chambers so that coyotes, bobcats, and raccoons don't get in in the nest and then at night is when they hatch usually 60 days after they've been laid but it depends on temperature and moisture as to when they're going to hatch the odds are one in a thousand will be able to reproduce 20 to 30 years later so one in a thousand will actually make it and survive to come back to the beach and finally the most famous wildlife draw to fort myers is the bird life from birds of prey like osprey to a plethora of waders and seabirds you can see them all to get the best bird action a kayak tour through Ding Darling comes highly recommended. From here, depending on the time of year, you can see egrets and pelicans fishing alongside some of the island's other animal inhabitants, like snakes and alligators.